My Hero Academia, 10 Characters Who Deserve a Power-Up Many students and heroes have cool quirks, but they're falling behind. It's time to give certain My Hero Academia characters a boost to stay relevant. In My Hero Academia, supernatural quirks mean everything. Nearly everyone has a quirk, and pro heroes use them to keep the streets safe while villains and criminals use their own quirks to commit crimes and subvert society in any way they can. Quirks, like muscles, can be trained, and heroes and villains can invent super moves. By now, many characters in My Hero Academia have come a long way with their quirks and fighting style. But others are lagging far behind and run the risk of becoming obsolete or forever underpowered. If they get a power-up, they can become relevant and interesting all over again. And contribute more to the plot. 10. Mashireo Ojiro Needs More Melee Power Mashireo Ojiro is one of several melee specialist students at UA High School, and his quirk grants him a powerful, flexible tail like a monkey's. This fifth limb allows Mashireo to strike his enemies from unexpected angles, grab objects, and even swing around the place. The mobility boost is very helpful. It could be argued. Though, that Mashireo is one of the weakest students in his entire grade level, not just class 1A, and he's never had a moment of glory. He needs a big boost to his melee power. Agility or technique soon, or he will be lucky to graduate UA as a hero at all. 9. Setsuna Tokage has limited hitting power. Setsuna Tokage has a lizard theme, since she can split apart her body to attack her enemies, just like a lizard breaking off its tail to confuse a predator. She took part in the fourth battle in the joint training arc and lost to Katsuki Bakugo's team in just under five minutes. Setsuna's body-splitting quirk helps her evade enemy fire and scout the opposition. But her striking power is minimal, and she can't get much done like this. If Setsuna can increase her physical power and endurance, she can truly become a great lizard hero. 8. Yuga Aoyama has untapped potential. The sparkling hero Yuga Aoyama is often treated as a comic relief character, but there must be more to him than that. He has struggled with insecurities due to his quirk serious drawbacks. And he acts vain as compensation. Slowly, but surely, he actually is getting better. Yuga's naval laser quirk has limited application, and his body quickly becomes strained with its use. He also has limited mobility and endurance in any case, so perhaps it's time to boost his physical strength and endurance so he can fight in more intense battles. As it is now, he's too fragile. 7. Empty Lady Needs a New Trick One of the first pro heroes ever seen was the titanic Empty Lady, who can rapidly grow into a giant with her quirk. Empty Lady is a melee hero on a grand scale. Able to step on or grab villains or vehicles with impunity. She's not quite as tough as she looks, though. Empty Lady's size has its perks, but she seems to have very few super moves or tricks up her sleeve. Making her surprisingly easy to predict and counter. Empty Lady needs a few new moves in her fighting style soon, or she will stand no chance against powerful villains later on. She needs more than size to 6. Rikido Sato could stand to get more training. Rikido Sato, or Sugarman, is another melee hero who is quickly falling behind in the race to become a great pro. His quirk rapidly boosts his strength and speed when he ingests sugar. But the sugar high lasts for only a few minutes. After that, he becomes lethargic and slow. Based on his technique in his few fights so far, Rikido has no special moves or strategies. And he'll need some sooner or later. If Achiko Uraraka can learn advanced techniques from Gunhead, Rikido can and should do the same from another pro hero. He needs more than raw power at this point. 5. 
spinner, can hardly do a thing. So far in the anime, it seems that the scaly villain spinner is little more than a TM in reference, and he is easily one of the weakest League of Villains members. He did wield an oversized sword against the wild, wild pussycats, but that didn't last long. Spinner isn't quirkless, but based on his combat performance so far, he might as well be. His best moment was when he drove a van while Tamura Shigaraki attacked Overhaul to steal the latter's anti-quirk bullets. Spinner needs more power if he's going to be an appreciable threat. 4. Melissa Shield needs a support quirk, like Maze. Melissa Shield was born quirkless, just like Izuku Midoriya, but that fact never really upset her. Instead, Melissa followed her father David's example and became a researcher and inventor to support pro heroes. And she is effectively the American Mayhatsum. Melissa seems to be doing well, but she would make even faster progress if she had an ability like Zoom or any other quirk that would make inventing things easier. Her father's quirk, which makes his fingers bendy, isn't terribly helpful either. 3. Tatami Nakagame can hardly do anything with her quirk. A handful of students from other hero schools appeared during the provisional hero license exam, and some were much stronger than others. Inesa Yurashi rivaled Shoto with his quirk, while students such as Tatami Nakagame could do little to challenge class 1A, Tatami can retract her arms, legs, and head into her body. And squish herself down to avoid enemy fire. That's a token defensive move at best, and Tatami was hardly ever seen doing anything else with it. With some training, perhaps she could retract her arms. Then pop them back out quickly to deliver powerful punches. 2. Mandalay's quirk would be better if it went both ways. Mandalay is one of the four wild, wild pussycats, and her support type quirk, telepath, allows her to mentally transmit messages to dozens of people around her. This is helpful for rapidly and neatly evacuating civilians from a dangerous area, but she can't receive any messages in return. If Mandalay's telepath ability went both ways, she could also receive vital updates from fellow heroes during a large-scale operation. This could make her ability not just helpful, but absolutely vital in the fight against villainy. 1. Reiko Yanagi should have the option to lift a single massive object. The poltergeist hero of Class 1B is Reiko Yanagi and her telekinetic quirk grants her the power to lift and move objects roughly the size of a person or smaller. She can lift many objects at once this way and coordinate them all, and if Yui Kodai is around, those objects can be expanded in size. If Reiko can control many smaller objects at once, then in theory, she could consolidate her quirk's power and use it on a single, huge object such as a car or bus and lift it. So far, it seems that she cannot, but perhaps with some training or a power-up. She could. Reiko simply needs more options. <laughs>